So you know retirement, let's talk about it a bit because eventually it won't exist and we won't use the word anymore. So we might as well get a bit in while we can. Uh, it's becoming much more difficult. In fact, incomprehensible for a lot of people. The idea inconceivable that someday you would be able to just not work anymore. But it actually used to be a thing. Lots of people in past generations would eventually put down their, their tools, the great burden they had borne their whole life, and then would get to just like live for the rest of their life. Like pursuing hobbies or traveling, spending time with family JR. I don't know, I've done a little bit of research. I've tried to put together a picture of what it was like. Um, don't expect it for you necessarily. Yeah. Over the next decade, we have some amazing stats from The Guardian. Over the next decade, the number of workers aged 75 and older is expected to increase in the US by 96.5%. <laughs> with their labor participation rate projected to rise from 8.9% last year to 11.7% by 2030, a rate that is steadily increased from 4.7% in 1996. So three times a percentage of the labor force will be people over 75 years old by 2040. The US population of adults age 65 and older is expected to increase to 80.8 million from 54.1% in 2019. So overall, we are getting older, but we're not actually stopping working. And why would we? Participation in retirement plans has declined since 2000. Nearly half of all families in the US have no retirement savings at all. And inequality among, among Americans based on retirement savings is greater than income inequality, which seems inconceivable again. But yeah, less and less people have a job where these sorts of things are offered. Even when they are offered, it's more and more difficult to have the spare money necessarily to put into it. So people can't save. So JR, they probably won't ever get to actually retire. What this really is, um, it's an expansion, explosion of way more Americans feeling and dealing with end of life, later on in life types of decisions that poor folks have had to since forever. So there's plenty of poor Americans and lower, lower income Americans and never fathomed. There's no such thing as retirement. Retirement, savings, living somewhere else, moving to a warmer climate because maybe I live in, in, you know, in Michigan and it gets freezing every year. And maybe as I age, I can't deal with the cold. I can't shovel my driveway. I can't slip on ice and break my hip. All those things went into Retirement, that's why retirement centers are like the Southeast. You do move to Florida because it's warmer there. Or you move to California, Arizona, all those places because this is the things that people do. Now in general, that's what we said all of America does and that was a lie. All this is gonna do is expose just how much of a lie that's always been because now it's gonna affect this many more. Now, once that happens, you know, Republicans and conservatives like to talk about how we're not leaving the best America for our children and our grandchildren by not giving all of our money to multi billionaires and corporations. Yep. So now, as when we see it happen, we've, you know, we've forgotten this whole time as we talk about our children and our grandchildren that we are screwing over just for other reasons. We're also screwing over the folks who are supposed to be retiring later in life. And now we've got the front end and the back end who are getting screwed. And whoever else is doing fine is just the people who hoarded the money in the middle the entire time. 100%. Yeah, yeah. And this is uh, this is like, it's hard to imagine a more core, like, sure, it's not sexy, the story, but it's devastating. It's horrifying. Uh, Fox News, you guys worry about economic anxiety, right? You're like super worried about, well, so, and, and by the way, your audience on average is like 90 years old. Uh, why are you talking about this? Why don't you think we should do anything about this? You're not aggrieved about this in the same way you were about Dr. Seuss or some stupid fake tree being burned down. Kind of a big issue. Yeah. They're all really about fast. families, they're all about uh, teachers, and they're all about old folks until they need to do something for teachers, families, and old folks. Suddenly there's nothing exactly. to talk about. By the way, you know, not to tie this into other things we've been talking about, but people who uh, start their career off with 20, 30, 40, 50,000 or more in debt and have to, to have a career in a certain field, um, are they gonna save a lot of money for retirement? This is now people can't retire. Student loan debt has exploded over the past 10, 20 years. What do you think this is gonna look like in a few decades? Anyway, um, if you go to the Guardian right up on this, they have some amazing profiles of individuals, 75 year olds, 69 year olds, 63 year olds who can't stop working despite the fact that they're that old. Some of them with cancer still having to work because social security won't sustain them. Anyway, 
This is devastating. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.